everyone. My name is Guillermina Rojas. Today we are going to speak about the most common and most severe drug reaction. The first step is to go over the patient whole prescription list, including over the counter medication, supplement, a complete drug history. Keep track of any previous adverse drug or dietary responses. Be sure to document the drug reaction in the patient chart. Immunocompromised people are 10 times more likely than the normal population to experience a medication eruption. The use of parentally delivered medication, which are more likely to cause anaphylaxis than oral medication. One of the drug reactions is the esanthema drug eruption. It's the 90% of all cutaneous drug eruption. Macules and papules appear on the trunk and spread centrifugally to the extremity symmetric. Prurito and mild fever may be present. Limited to skin. Another one is fixed drug eruption. Early lesions are sharply demarcated Erythematous macules affect the mouth, genitalia, and face. Lesions become raised, forming plaque, which may evolve to become bulla and then eruption. Common drugs implicated include phenorsalein, tetracyclines, metronidazole, sulfate, barbiturates. Drug reaction with eosinophilia and systemic symptoms. Another name for this condition is drug hypersensitivity syndrome. Skin eruption with systemic symptoms and internal organs. Signs and symptoms esanthelm, erythema, centrofascial swelling, fever, and malaise. Lymphadenopathy and involvement of other organs such as liver, heart, kidney. 70% of patients have eosinophilia. Signs and symptoms may last for several weeks following this continuation of the drug. The fatality rate could reach 10%. Stop or suspect responsible medication and discontinue no essential medication. Medication implicated, allopurinol, penicillin, NSAID, carbamazepine, isoniazid, the Steven Johnson syndrome and toxic epidermal necrolysis are the most serious drug reaction. Possible complications are cornea scarring, blindness, renal failure, pneumonia, and respiratory failure. A dermatologist should be consulted immediately. Support treatment is used to treat fluid electrolyte imbalance and sepsis. A referral to an eye specialist is required. Let's speak about the treatment. First generation antihistamine, uh, hydroxyzine, diphedramine, and also we use second generation antihistamine, for example, loratadine. Uh, also we use corticosteroid, uh, topical treatment, relieves the rash, the burrito. Hypersensitivity syndrome, severe serum sickness, like symptom and switch syndrome, are treated with systemic steroid.
Lastly, follow-up. The patient follow-up with a drug reaction is directly dependent on the intensity and chronicity of the response and may include both routine and emergency intervention, depending on symptom. A complete CBC to rule out leukocytosis and eosinophilia, and fasted blood sugar testing to rule out hyperglycemia. Is the patient required systemic steroid? If the symptom persists, an allergy should be consulted. Thank you.